Hello everyone, this is Salman. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very important day. Today uh, we are starting much awaited uh, our travel web series. Uh, we left Lahore yesterday early morning uh, with a quick stopover in Islamabad <clears throat> and that ended up being a little bit longer than I expected. Anyway, uh, after leaving Islamabad, we arrived late night at Naran. Naran was different as almost a tourism season over here is uh, over. <clears throat> Any day they can get uh, snow and once they get snow, this place will be shut down. The temperature last night actually got down to uh, close to five degrees. Uh, we are on our way to Skardu. We will leave Naran here soon. And as I uh, continue my journey, I'll keep you guys posted. Right now we have uh, just left Naran, uh, main bazaar, and uh, this is the area that I'm crossing right now. If you come in summertime, uh, you will find uh, all kind of people with all kind of people with uh, rafts, and they take you uh, to this river, which is at that time uh, in summer when water when the snow is melting and the river is really high. They take you to uh, do some white water rafting. But as you can see, this is uh, not the end. This, the, the, this is not coming to the end. This is the end of the season. And there's, I don't even see a single uh, person advertising or promoting or offering whitewater rafting or have a setup. I think everybody's packed up and gone. And uh, like I said, the snow is any day uh, now. So this place is just so different now compared to when you come here in summertime. All right, I have just stopped to get a quick cup of, uh, well, they call it kava over here. You might want to refer it to as green tea. And here's uh, Mr. Noor. Mohammed. Mohammed. He's going to make me a cup of uh, kava, green tea. And in this weather, which is actually the wind is kind of getting really chilly, uh, it's, it, it keeps you warm. Right, one more thing that you don't do when you come to a beautiful place full of natural beauty is you don't enjoy a good cup of kava green tea and throw the cup away no what you do is you need to carry with you a trash bag like i carry one and i've been as you can see carrying all my trash and i'm going to put it here and once i get to a proper place i'm going to dispose of my trash at that place you don't litter the place and you don't ruin the beauty. Oh. 
spoken too early, I should have held my fire. Well, there are, it seems like there's uh, two, three vendors offering uh, white water rafting and it seems like there are some families going down to enjoy it. Well, there's a road that goes down. Should we go down, try it and see? What is what is going on here? Well, we'll I think just get a bird's eye view from here. Right now it's not really white water rafting. The water has come down. Well, after driving for like, I guess 30 minutes, I'm kind of feeling tired. So I booked me a hotel room and I'm, I'm gonna go and get some rest and maybe take a nap and lay down and then continue my journey. So, uh, sorry, you know, I guess you get tired. So I'm gonna go to my room now and I'll show you my room. Well, here I am on the top floor to my room. Where the heck is my room? Well. I guess that's what you call false advertisement. There's no room up there. I don't know why I stopped here. All right, I'm gonna come down and continue my journey. Last time I came through uh, uh, Naran and going towards Babasar Top, this point right here was full of water as there was a lot of snow melting and that waterfall was actually uh, coming down pretty hard and there were a couple of cars or jeeps that were stuck here and I remember I had to pull them out. But this was the first waterfall, beautiful, beautiful waterfall that we come up on our way to Baba Sertar. There's another good spot for uh, on the way to Babasar Top for stopping and taking a good picture. Water is clear. I'm sure it's cold. Right, so this is the place that I've stopped to offer my condolences to my beloved drone that I crashed down there. I took my Jeep down there and I was fascinated by a few uh, goats and cows, cattle. They were right there on top of that uh, mountain right up there and they were grazing and I took it up there. So. If you can look down here uh, at the valley, that's where I had gone down, taken my Jeep down, right next to the river. And I took my drone up there and I was filming it. And I broke the, the first law of flying a drone, is, which is always keep an eye on your drone. And I didn't. And I was kind of uh, fascinated and I was fixed, uh, fixated on uh, those on those cattle and trying to capture that perfect shot. And I brought the drone down and I didn't realize that it came down so low that it crashed into the river. And that's how I crashed my first DJI drone. Back then the river was raging, water was high. Uh, there was no way I could have gone in or sent somebody to even try to recover it. So this is it. <laughs> Rest in peace.
On our way to Babasar Top, uh, we uh, took a stop at this beautiful place. It's, this is called, uh, this place called Lulusar Lake. Uh, I believe uh, it gets its feet of water from uh, a lot of uh, glaciers that melt. And if you get, can get a closer look, uh, you can see uh, they all kind of come to this spot, the water, and then it forms a very beautiful lake. Uh, this is a, a very uh, famous and popular tourist spot during summertime. All this road is lined up with, you know, cars and people. I mean, it's, it's, if you look at this lake in a daylight, it's just blue water. Hey guys, finally I reached Babusar Top. I assure you, I, I mean, take my word for it, wind chill is way below freezing. And my dumb ass has packed all my jackets way down in my suitcase. I don't even know where they are. I have so much junk stuff sitting in my Jeep. Anyway, this is Babusar Top. Here I am, just wanted to give you this beautiful view of uh, sun playing with clouds. Uh, this is a place that only stays open maybe um, four months in a year. In about uh, 15 days, they are expecting snow. And annual snowfall in this area is close to about 25 feet. Well, I am cold. I'm going to get back in my Jeep. I am freezing. <clears throat> but this has been a fun journey so far. I'm enjoying it. I, I don't have any experience with vlogs, but I tell you, this is one experience that I look forward to, and I'm enjoying every bit of this journey. I'm gonna get back, and I'll see you guys. Bye. 